Ladies and gentlemen, I sound like what's his name from WWE when he said that? Oh, Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman. Anyway. Ladies and yeah, gentlemen, yeah. Uh, the long awaited An Idiot Abroad is finally here. Uh, I know we did a poll a couple weeks ago. I mean, there were a lot of shows that were recommended, but, you know, obviously this one overwhelmingly won the vote. Um, so fact. ultimately, this is the first one that's going to come to YouTube. Uh, for our Patreon family, they are also getting another show. They are getting Peep Show Reactions uh, two to three times a week and then Top Boy. So those are the two we're doing on Patreon. So if you want to support us even further and kind of sim simultaneously have a bunch more content to watch, please go over to our Patreon as those shows will be on there as well. Um, and I know what you're thinking, right? You're like, did Briefcase Wanker get bigger? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I know you all are smart, but that is not in case Briefcase Wanker. That is somebody who has been with the team uh, for the past couple of months, working kind of behind the scenes, so you guys haven't seen him. 360 um, deal. 360 deal. <laughs> you might have heard him in the background laughing, to be honest. He's been here That's in the fair. past. Um, so he's, he, we're very familiar with him. Um, but yeah, we have a new addition to the channel. I think I can safely say you're probably going to see him here <laughs> regularly. <laughs> yeah, he might he might not have a choice, you know. He's not going to, you know, disappear after a week. Oh, man. But yeah, you guys have all been asking us where he went. If you guys have and you guys got to see our, our recent in between your video reaction, we kind of spoke about what happened. Um, but he will pretty much no longer be with the channel. He's obviously still a friend of ours. Um, but he has a couple of obligations that he has to go to. <laughs> so with that being said, we have a new introdu introduction to the team. I can let him introduce himself. But San, welcome to the channel, man. You got anything you want to say to the great people before they start roasting you? What's good, everybody? Happy to be here. And let's get it going. Why do you look like so, by the way? I Yeah, don't I don't know. Like that. But why you guys <laughs> Alrighty, are you guys ready, man? Episode one. This is gonna be a journey. Couple seasons. Yo, Carl's a goat. Carl's a goat. We, Carl's you guys, a fucking goat. If you guys haven't seen our reactions, we reacted to some of his stuff with Ricky Gervais um, in the past, so please go check that out. Uh, but here we go, man. This is Great about stuff. to be legendary. Let's Carl get into it. actually reminds me of Jergen. Season one, episode one, An Idiot Abroad. Here we go. The seven wonders of the world. Christ the Redeemer. Taj Mahal, the Great Pyramids, truly man's greatest achievements. But there's one man who sees them differently. If that was on my road, the council would be on it. They'd go, get that down. It's a death trap. <laughs> Carl Pilkington. It's like a pylon. <laughs> I don't know the politically correct term. Moron. <laughs> I think he is a round... Empty headed <laughs> chimp like <laughs> man moron buffoon idiot. Is that normal? And he's a friend. We've often described him as being like some kind of real life Homer Simpson. Homer is small minded, <laughs> petty, but at, at his core, a good person. And lovable, absolutely lovable. It's like a game of Jenga that's got out of hand. I can't get enough of him. Is everyone going to be wearing this? He's a typical little Englander and he doesn't like going out of his comfort zone. Bollocks are squashed. I just think it'd be amazing <laughs> to send him around the world. What we'd like to see is him experience other cultures, Here. other peoples, and see if in any way we can change his outlook on the world. <laughs> I've been to many exotic places. I That's genuinely fired. think travel uh, broadens the mind. I want him to hate it. I want him to hate every minute of it for my own amusement. <laughs> Nothing is funnier than Carl in a corner being poked by a stick. I am that stick. And now I have the mic of Sky behind me. Oh, this is one of the funniest, most expensive practical jokes I've ever done. And it's going to be great. Let me go! Oh, Jesus Christ! Idiot of Rod. All right? Yeah. I'm all right, yeah. What are we doing today? Just hanging around. You look nervous. You look uneasy. Well, I am a bit, yeah. It's not normal, is it? What? What is it? You're asking me how my day is, and a room full of people who I don't know. <laughs> yeah? Well, you're going to get to know them. You're going to get to know them really well. What? Everywhere I go, these lot are coming, are they? Yeah. Well, they've got to. They've got to film it. 
Otherwise, you'd be by yourself, and we wouldn't see it on the telly. <laughs> Right, Carl. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very jealous of your trip here, Carl, <laughs> to the mighty Great Wall of China. Well, you say that, but how come I'm going and you're not doing any? Well, because um, we're executive producers. Yeah, we're busy, we've got other stuff going on. Mm. See, out of all the places, this is the place that I'm worried about the most. Why? Just the way they live, the different... <laughs> Chinese people. They just wreck everything. They, they make oh. everything weird. That's what I'm worried about. Big to you, on this. I don't to understand you. what you mean. Everything, chicken. Why is it orange in Chinatown? <laughs> <laughs> Just the slightest thing. The chicken is orange. Hey, didn't you order orange chicken one time? And I was like, how the fuck is chicken orange? I'm didn't you eat orange? Who was the one that ate orange, orange chicken? chicken. That's a be fucking briefcase wanker, bro. So he's oh, the only no, fucking yeah, weird yeah, one. Yeah, I think it was briefcase. Weird ass shit. All right, how about this? I have a proposal. I get the same thing every time. I have a proposal for the channel. I'm not for eating you guys. orange chicken. All right, good. At a million subs. No, 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 bro. You, somebody commented. Wait. You guys are locked in a skydive at a Wait. million subs. Are Wait. you crazy? At a Fuck million no. subs. We send Jergen around the world. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I like that idea. Literally, exactly. perhaps the greatest thing you've literally said. Literally recreate you were, this. Yeah, since you were bored. Uh, uh, a re oh, can't say that word. Uh, <laughs> It's not Patreon. A, a, a more on the board. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting too used to Patreon. A slow guy on board. No, no, more. I like a more on the board. One word, quick. Two syllables. All right, here we go. Do you eat anything. You know what I mean? Octopus. <laughs> Toad. <laughs> <laughs> he just made that one up. No, say, say if I go over there, I have a bit of toad. I go, do you know what? It's quite nice, that. It's nicer than chicken. Yeah. It's going to be pretty tough to get a bit of grilled toad. Yeah. In this country, it could make me sort of wish for stuff that I can no longer get hold of. Have you been listening to what he's been saying there? Yeah. That he's scared to go to China in case he gets a taste for toad. toad. And, and then he, he, he can't get toad. toad. So I just wanted to check that you heard that. Yeah. The way they write, the, the letters are weird. Their alphabet's not like ours. Theirs are like, like someone testing out a biro. Everything's, <laughs> there's, there's no logic to anything that they do. There it is. There is. Listen, of course, there's a logic to it. The way they read a book, it's all the other way around, from back to front instead of from front to back and up and down. And mm -mm. everything that we've done, they've gone right. We're going to do it weirder. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it comes across. Well, some would say that they did it first. Their civilization beat ours by by many, many hundreds of years. But <laughs> anyway, right, off you go. See you when you get back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> what the fuck? You got a Chinese oh. That's that's all he's back. That's it. Huh. That looks cool though. It's grey, isn't it? Is today a cloudy day or is this pollution? <laughs> oh. It's not worth having this in HD, is it? Nothing looks crisp. Oh, Did you just say it's not in HD? <laughs> this is gonna be good. He's like, is this a cloudy there's a pollution? This is gonna be the greatest yeah. traveler oh, show no. I've ever seen in my life. Sort of hazy. Some sort of Kate Bush video or something. Can anyone speak English? Does he want to give us a lift? English? Do you want to give us a ride? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Doesn't seem to work when you smile at people. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Blank. So I don't know if smiling means smiling here. I mean, if they don't understand my language and they don't understand my expressions, I don't know what I've got to communicate with. Yeah. All right. Nothing, nothing. I've got nothing then. <laughs> I don't think I've ever felt this lost. Yeah. <laughs> Even in Wales. Yeah. See what I mean here, though, about things not being normal. You know, I get off a plane all sort of achy and that, oh. jet lagged. I thought, oh. I know, I'll have a massage. That'll be nice. Massage? Hi. I'm never going to get to where I'm going. I'm going to bed. <laughs> it is nice, though, to be fair. <laughs> that isn't. That isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! What the hell? What the hell? I mean, God. was that a massage? I don't know. Or was it just being mugged? <laughs> was it, was oh. it being mugged? Well, I'm just trying to find the hotel that Ricky and Steve has sorted out for me. 
Um, I'm not expecting that much, if I'm honest with you. I've got a room, Pilkington. Nice. What's that, a dojo? It's compact, isn't it? It's, it's cosy. Feels Chinesey. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Those slippers, Are they're mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, he's going, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. He's a fucking god. This is going exactly the way I thought it would from the from the videos we've we've seen from him. Yep. Love you have a TV. Any English? No, only uh, Chinese. Okay, <laughs> thanks. To... They're making out. I like this touch. Suzanne wants a fish, so I'll have to let her know that I've got a couple. I mean that is for sort of company, isn't it? It's not a, it's not some sort of appetizer, that is it. <laughs> <laughs> That's handy. You know I said that Chinese always come up with inventions, quite futuristic with their ideas. It's all right, isn't it? Little radio with headlights. I don't know when you'd need that. I mean the, the whole beauty of radio is, you know, you can listen to it in the dark. I mean if that was on the Dragon's Den, you'd, you'd say I'm out, wouldn't you? I'm just going to go and have a wander about, I think, because there's nothing else to do, so I might as well, you know, at least try and see a bit of the place, mix with the locals. Um, you know, that's what Ricky and Steve want, innit? They want, they want to see how I can handle myself with some foreigners. Carl. Car. 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 Carl. Yeah. L. Carl. 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 Not Carl. Carla, oh. just Carl. Carl. Oh, Carl, Carl, yeah. Carl. 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 No. Uh, no. No, no, it's good. No. Carl. No. Mm. Carl. Carl. You don't need to add... Like this, your country, the Shashbia. 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 Yeah. Shakespeare. Shashbia. Shashbia. It's just breaking it up a little bit. <laughs> Carl. Yeah, yeah. I'm Carl. <laughs> it's not Carl. It's Carl. Carl. <laughs> yeah, it smells more Chinesey now, doesn't it? It's all sweet what? and sour. What? Sweet and sour. Oh, okay. Good, isn't it? Is that dead? Yeah, that's dead, isn't it? Are they dead? Are they toads? Oh. So I don't get it. Are they alive in that bag? Yeah. Oh. Why aren't they legging it? <laughs> He's got like a Sainsbury's bag full of toads. He rips them out, cuts their head off, sticks them in another bin bag. I don't even know what that is. I mean, hey man, Chinese people are savage. Yeah. With their food, like they just. I've seen videos where they are annihilating the animals. Like, over here, we have animal rights activists that, like, won't let you do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, imagine. yeah but, like, every country, like, they they do that shit, though. Not to the extent. They eat a... Bro, they eat a lot of they animals eat a lot of that I... No, no, yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that I have not... Well, sushi. That I have not heard of in any other country. Yeah, yeah that's true. That, that, it is a little crazy. You know, oh, um, like, earlier, I used to think that, like, the Chinese food we used to get here was, like, the same stuff they it's had not over authentic there. Chinese. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> and I heard someone say that. They was like... Bro. It's just the chino. <laughs> yeah, exactly. E e like even like Chinese people will tell you that American Chinese food is no, yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just American food. When I saw that, yeah. they were like, "Oh wait, <laughs> it's yeah, completely it's Chinese different. branding." Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, that's all it is. Looks like a load of condoms in jam huh. and water huh. or something. I mean, it, it's weird how he's got it sat there as if that's meant to tempt you in. <laughs> well, the idea was, you know, that I'd, I'd nip out and get a little snack. Because Ricky and Steve said, yeah, try everything out. You know, do what the locals do. But there's Ooh. no way I'm eating this stuff. Scorpions? Is that starfish? Scorp That's every fish. Cockroaches? Ooh. Ooh. The cream's on the stick as well at the end. Just anything on a stick. Yeah. Whatever you want on a stick. Is that a bat? Yo! That's a lizard. Oh. That's where it started. Oh, that's a lizard? <laughs> I don't look like a bat. Oh. Yeah, no, he yeah, doesn't look lizard. a bat. You said that, yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. I just about. don't understand why they're eating all this. I mean, at home, restaurants will get closed down for having a roaches? cockroach in the kitchen. That protein. Yeah. Here, hey, it's just no. no, no, he's right. He's right. It'd be like this. Yeah, there's a lot of protein in the really, in the food department. I mean, can we really say anything? They're way so healthier than we are. That is true. Yeah, he's yeah. right. That is true. Yeah. But it's mainly because our shit is processed yeah, to yeah, another yeah. planet, bro. It's like processing like, shit like that. Frozen and put in a refrigerator for like a <laughs> month. I, I, I 10, also saw like sweet cockroaches. No, 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 <laughs> no, no sir. sir, no, sir. No, sir. No, we no, have sir. them in abundance in New York, but they will not be eaten. Hell, no, no, sir.
I'm just tucking in on her. Oh, no, bunch of scorpions. Look at her, like she's just having like a bit ah. of a chicken leg. Not a problem. Just it's... just shoving them in her face. <laughs> she looks at it before she puts it in her mouth. Like, oh yeah, which bit will I have first? She'll the head or the yeah, arse? I mean, as she's eating one off one stick, she's looking at the other stick. She can't get enough of it. <laughs> her eyes. It's like the donuts to her. She's looking at it. She's going, oh look at that one there. That one looks nice. You see, I don't know where it stops. Where's the line between food and insect? <laughs> She gets up in the morning. That's a good question. That is a good Where's question. the line between food and insect? That's do they crazy. eat snakes? Do you know if they eat like snakes and I shit? I think so. Yes. I think so. Even then? <clears throat> but I think, I think it's also due to the fact that they have a lot of import taxes. So, so to oh. like get a... I saw it in like Japan. I know Japan's not China, but... Yeah. But to get a melon, it's like $10 Jeez. for one small melon. What the fuck? Because they can't Convert, grow it there? Yeah. Because they have to import yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, he's right, yeah. So that's no, probably that why they sense. eat a lot of, like... Probably um, a lot of access, other shit, yeah. yeah. I feel like if you grow up on something, like, you don't see it as weird. Obviously, yeah. No, yeah, it's their obviously. culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With the, like, this, this is us, why, it's yeah. weird, yeah. but, like, to them, this is, like, normal life. Like, obviously, she looked like she was enjoying that <laughs> cockroach on a stick. <laughs> I, a I scorpion. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. We see them, you know... <laughs> running around, yeah. we stomped him out. Yeah, I mean, I mean, disclaimer for anybody as well, because obviously, I'm assuming he's going to be traveling to a lot of places. Yeah, don't take it seriously. Like, he goes to Dominican Republic. Yo, <laughs> listen to the, to the Chinese mangu and fucking tostones might taste like shit. That, yeah, but raw you're fish right. might taste good. So it's yeah. it's just it's it's true. Depends on where you're from. Man. I like sushi though. Me too. I like, sushi. I like wow. sushi. Yeah. There's a spider in the bath. What does she do? Oh, good. I'll leave the croissant for tomorrow. I'll leave <laughs> <laughs> I hate this guy. I love him. Oh, no. See, oh, whoa. What, what? What is that? Is that? Is oh, that no. The no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, God. Disgusting. Is that the big... What sort of egg is that? So it's a fetus. Oh, my God. Inside an egg. <laughs> a fetus. <laughs> this is disgusting, bro. I don't know why, Watching, <laughs> 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 you don't know. No, She's with bro. us. Bro. You know, it's called helping drive the bus and what have you. Yes, I heard, I heard that. It's called the what? That egg, it's called a balut. It's called the disgusting. It's like a delicacy, right? Really? Yeah, it's a, a delicacy. What? Yeah. What do you... No, 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 no. A huh? chocolate cake is a delicacy. That's to us, a bro. Va a vanilla, uh, you know, sundae is a delicacy. <laughs> no, it's because I saw some videos about it. A yeah, fetus yeah. is not a delicacy, they my friend. It, they let it grow to a certain extent, and then they eat it. Yeah, yeah, we could tell. Well, he he's eating it raw. That like he he's That's he's what I'm fucking, saying. He's it's, a goat. But the way you're supposed goat? to do it, the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to take it out, put it in like a bowl, put soy sauce on it, and then eat it. All right, well, at least you flavored it before you ate it. That makes it a little bit more they moral. Hard, they you understand hard what I'm boil saying? it first. They boil it first. Oh, so, so they, do they, they just they eat torture it, like it first that? and then they yeah, eat it. Yeah, bro, they just eat it. They boil it. Like they don't clean it out or anything? Well, clean what? I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing to clean out. They just That's can't eat. A certain, there's like a part of it they have to take out. I'm not hating. I'm not. I I can't do it. My nah, ingestive. That's it, a fact. I'm, I'm not built for that, man. Jesus that's Christ. He <laughs> seems like a normal bloke. I mean, eating a fetus. Not even waiting for the thing to be born and to live a bit, and then <laughs> eats it. He's looking at it, buddy. Fetus. Jesus Christ. Only been here for a bit. I'm running out of these. I've got three more packets left. <laughs> but you know, the weird thing is, I'm I'm the freak here, aren't I? Everyone else is eating that. Yeah, I'm eating these. Yeah. I'm not one out. I have my name done. That says Carl. Could be that way. Could be that way. <laughs> I love this guy. It's one or the other. Could be that way. Let's face it. <laughs> I don't know. Could be any way. I'm sure if you, you know, if you're Chinese and you're watching this, you know if I've got it the right way up. Well, there you go, That's that says Carl. I mean, I haven't got Suzanne a gift yet. I could just give her this mm -hmm. and say, yeah, it says Suzanne, though. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, he's golden. Well, I'm here to see the, the Great Wall, aren't I? You know, one of the wonders of the world, but I'm, I'm just not in the mood, honestly. I'm still knackered. I'm still jet-lagged. And just, just the weirdness of China, <laughs> that tires you out on its own. It's out there. It's like one o'clock in the morning at home. I've got a message. Hello, call me. It's Stephen here. 
Um, listen, I've uh, got a little treat arranged for you today. I know that you're fascinated by the strange, the weird, the esoteric, and obviously one of the big parts of Chinese culture oh. is fortune telling. Um, so we've arranged for you to go and see a fortune teller, get some predictions about your future, my friend. All right, enjoy. Do people really believe that here? I mean, are, are people taking kids in and saying to him, right, here's my kid, what's his future going to be like? Because <laughs> his life is going to be a load of shite anyway. <laughs> End it. Do him a favour. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. His life is going to be a load of shite anyway. End it. Do him a favour. End it? End it. That's it. <laughs> oh, he's, no. He's a goat. He's a goat. <laughs> yeah. But then he doesn't always work like that. That's what I mean with fate. I didn't do that well at school. I left with a, an E in history. So say if my dad knew that, he'd go, right, get the brick, and that'd be the end hey, of it. Yo, well, oh, no. I've done all right. I've got, I've got a job and paying me way in life. <laughs> you got a bow. I've got a bit of a he problem with this. A mate has sent me it of this dumb. I'm not happy about it, really. I sort of think I'm better off not knowing. If something's bad's going to happen, I prefer it just to happen without having a warning. That's true. What do you guys think? I, I'm 100% with him on the fortune telling shit. That. I don't I like that shit. That. I, I'd rather not know. Like, some people want to know, like, uh, when Dana White did that thing, like, you know how yeah, many yeah, days yeah. left you yeah. got to live. I would never want to know that shit. But that's backed by science, though. This is just I, bullshit. I would, yeah, I would yeah. never want to know it, though. I'm going to keep it like, real. I'm so, yeah, yeah, obviously. This like, I mean, is, but something no, but like his that. was, like, health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, is, this is, like, psychics and... Yeah. Reading yeah, yeah. palms and shit. Yeah, yeah. I, th yeah. I think and if you see something that, like, let's say they say something that you think comes true, you're gonna be like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, that's yeah, gonna yeah. happen. Yeah. Even though you know it's a hundred percent fake, you're still. It's like, yeah. I think some of it is unfair because I think they prey on like certain fears. Obviously, a lot. I've been to a psychic before. Um, a lot of what they do is they ask you a lot of questions and then kind of try to regurgitate it in a certain way of like trying to predict your future. Like, oh, you know, what are you studying in school? Um, business. Oh, you know, your future is full of a, a, a good business career. It's like, oh, thank well, you. Thanks. So a lot of it is a scam. But like, if it were true, why the fuck would I want to know what's going to happen to me? Yeah. Because then you start living your life differently. And then that yeah, would yeah. surely alter that anyway. Yeah. So it's like just a bunch of weirdo shit. Leave the future in the future. Same time I was born. Got a palm pilot. I didn't expect him to have a palm pilot. Yo, yo, I haven't seen one of those in years. Cool as fuck, bro. Back in the day. Do you know who Bruce Springsteen is? <laughs> He's got the same birth date as me. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm concentrating on calculating your future. <laughs> All right. Hey, who said that to him? Him. He's translating. Oh, okay, okay. You have to pay attention to your health because you got some sort of heart problem. Oh, here we go. <laughs> what sort of heart problem? Something to do with your heart, blood vessel. It's weird that because my dad had a problem with his heart and they say it runs in the family. So is it going to kill me then? 90%. What? Oh, 90%? Percent. I want my money back. Refund. Brilliant. <laughs> All right, what else? But maybe we can change it. Although you have some health problem, we're going to do a ceremony for you. But you do need to write a confession about what you did wrong. Something I did wrong. Something I did wrong in the past. Mm. Feds, 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 feds. You need to write three confession on the three Reno? pieces of paper. All right. He works for the CIA. I already know. I know it. Undercover. Can we get those confessions? When I lived in the other flat, there was a fellow who used to live in it called Bruce, and he used to get his post, and I'd open it. It was his old flat. I kept getting posts for him years after he'd moved out. So he's meant to be bad, that, isn't it? Carl Grimshaw put, else's put it in there and he had to have his head shaved. That's a bit tight, wasn't it? And he had a funny shaped head, so it looked really bad. I'll put that down. Carl Grimshaw for, for put, putting putty in his hair. I worked at this bloke shop called Bob. I was his best paper boy. So I'd collate all my papers, get them all, get them all ready, stick them in my bag. When he wasn't looking, I'd just sort of take a Mars bar, slip it up my sleeve, off I go. So every day, seven a week for about two years. Oh, 
Jeez. A lot of Mars bars, I know that, that's why it's on air. Yeah. It's always been playing on my mind, that. That's why he has hope Because I've since found out that shop doesn't make that much money from delivering papers. Oh, yeah. This is a healing process. Now. Oh, but he made me write that just to burn that shit? Damn. He's, yeah. He's burning it to erase it from this world. Facts. And that's going to cure my heart problem. That's going to cure your heart problem. I got to go to China. They're still allowing Americans in, right? We can still go over there. Yeah, why I think not? so, yeah. Right, I'm going over there. Everything's going to be fine. The other two papers, one needs to be put on top of a mountain. The other one needs to be put in the sea. Oh. It will help you to cleanse your soul. Brilliant. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Is that the egg guy? No, no just, just give us a second. Just give us a sec. Kidding me. We seen this. We've seen the things. There's no doors or anything. As soon as you open Yo, the door, what you the just get a full view of something. That's fine. I mean if it was here, it's more understandable, isn't it? Because you'd be sat here and at least people come in and you'd go, sort of go, I'm in this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit weird to just sort of wander in and I mean they've made this bit, why not just finish it off and put a door on it? They dumb the Wait, that's their toilet? Yes. Oh, Are you dumb? You I thought that was, was the urinal. He was pissing in the urinal. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's crazy, bro. Would you use that? Yo, if I got to take a mean dump, bro. Nah, bro, I got to be comfortable for my shits. You know what I'm saying? Like, that looks like you got to stay squat. So, yeah, you, gotta you gotta shit crouch. on yourself. That's... Yeah, but that's bro. That's knee pain. I don't want but knee what pain. If, while what if you have explosive diarrhea? You just ate that egg, no, that fetus. You have explosive diarrhea. But what if you just ate the fetus? Now you have explosive diarrhea. Taking shit on the street. That's the same thing. What? Yeah, that's true. That's right. Yo, what if what if you're like crouched and you you should just like coming out and you just fall back? <laughs> you passed out because of your shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, you Wait, what if you're shitting shit. and you miss the hole? <laughs> then good luck. You got no hey, you have so other you, you, have to you, like, you have other problems. You have to like diarrhea. sweep away your foot <laughs> into <laughs> the toilet. Yo, that shit might hit your like legs. You guys need to fix. You need to fix. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if, I, if I go to a bath, if I go to a bathroom in China and see that, I'm not taking a shit for two weeks. I however long I'm gonna be there. <laughs> Yo, that's it. Fuck this shit. He's on a door, and there's no toilet paper. That, no, that's that's the disrespectful. That's, that's the you just problem. Just the pants and walk off. Is that is that is that what you do? I'm, I'm not here to say they should be using toilet paper, it's not yeah. right. If that's not what yeah. they do, that's not what they do. But it's just, I didn't know that. I didn't think China was going to be like this. I thought it was going to be more... Like I said, I thought it was where they'd made the iPod. <laughs> I think I've got the wrong place, because this, this ain't the place where they need an iPod. Have a toilet roll first. Hey, yo. I mean, it's weird, because whenever you buy stuff like that, toilet roll rollers and stuff, it says made I'm in China. The background was just picking his well, nose. Why are they using them, then? He makes a good point. It is made in China. That's odd, isn't it? So he's got to leave the house and he's got to go do a That's feel what like once today. I might oh, have to get the belly and have to get the seat. Everyone who's is what So I need to have a seat to take a shit. You have to carry a chair. So basically the, the toilet, what is it called? The like, toilet ring. I gotta bring one. When we send Jurgen over there, we'll give we'll gift we'll him find, that. We'll see in it. We'll what is an this? He he could have sit on that chair for more than a week. We're gonna send him to fucking China all over the world. Yes. Maybe he'll get lost, never return. Maybe he'll find his one true love over there. You don't yeah, know. Give yeah, give me a second. Anime geeks. You know. Dragon, if you're watching, fuck you. Can pass knows he's gonna have a shit at some point today. Dragon oh, will have fun that. in Thailand. With the, with the, well, I can't say it on YouTube. Yeah. Do you know like how when I go into a public toilet, you like to nip in with a coin and open the door? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, well, you couldn't do that here because right. there's, there's no doors on the toilets. <laughs> They were filming some stuff like on this street, just with like traffic yeah. and stuff. I said, I'm just nipping in here. Walked in, was greeted by two fellas squatting. <laughs> there were chefs from the place on the corner, so that's that's reassuring. Oh, no. Honest to God, one of them was on the phone taking an order. <laughs> it was it was really I've never seen anything like it. I don't think I could ever get used to that. You need to have your own space when doing that, and they're just there. One's on the phone, the other one's just sort of looking round. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I don't know what people are watching Sky are going to do with the information. Chinese people have a shit with no door while taking an order for food. 
Well, he looked like he was sort of saying, I'll have it ready in like about five minutes. Oh, no, give me ten. <laughs> like, he, he yeah, forgot well, I'm, never, I'm never going to order a number two. I'll tell you that. <laughs> or, or a king poo chicken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> King Fu Chicken. They play they play off each other so well, bro. No, nah, that's a fact. That's funny. I I just I can't we've seen a few I can't understand if this like this is him. This is nah, him. This is definitely him. This, this is him. That's a friend I want, man. Bro, he, you have one. Jurgen. I have no, a, no, no. I have don't a friend like this. Carl. He says the funniest shit with the straightest face. Yeah, but like this is actually him. I don't know if he thinks it's funny. Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm saying. He just says shit and it's funny. So <laughs> I don't know, bro. This man's a fucking legend. OD. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Ricky's just... Yeah, well, I'm seeing the Great Wall today, aren't I? Um, Ricky and Steve just said, get down to the bus depot, <laughs> uh, where there's loads of coaches and that, which, you know, I'm, I'm not looking forward to this. Pilkington, Pilkington. Do you know what I mean? Getting on a bus full of tourists with a fella stood at the front yapping on, you know, with loads of history facts and just loads of stuff that you're never going to remember. <laughs> Is he an English bus? English tour? Do you not understand? Ricky and Steve just said, come here. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Sorry. There are other people. Hello. Hey, what up? I thought you played it. Mauduji,啊,Mauduji,中期一生,他没有登上过这个长城,啊,这句话在什么时候说的呢?Better <笑> Ah, the fellow behind me is coughing his guts up. I thought I was putting on a waterproof coat in case it rained. I needed to throw this bus. Why did they do that? <laughs> That's a good question, Carl. Yes. Why do they yes. do that? Why do they do that? I, maybe they're clearing their throat. You want to show them how it's done? I don't know how. Show him how it's done. Show I him how to clear the throat. <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't hear that. <laughs> For those of you asking, yes, that is a report. <laughs> <laughs> that one was it. <laughs> <laughs> but those are old people trying to clear <laughs> their old sinuses. Still's got an old nose. My sinus. Yeah, no, is Still's nose is ninety-five, up. and his body's like twenty-something. Yeah. Uh, well, it's good to know. Good to know that other people do it. There's the wall in China. Yeah. Where's she going? Oh. I can't see it now anyway, so it'll be a surprise <laughs> for me. How long does it take to get there? It looks like a hoodlum, bro. I feel like I'm at the post office on OAP day. <laughs> Under the world. Under the world. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. That, that's kind of cool. Wow. Look at everyone pushing and shoving. This is it then. It was heavily restored in both the 1950s and 1980s. I didn't know that. <laughs> Not even oh, old bricks. Why was that useful? For Am I missing something here? So the old stuff's gone, hasn't it, really? And then it doesn't count. It shouldn't be a wonder, then. You can't just build something on it and still, you know, get all the tourists in when it's not what it says on the tin. What I'm looking at is basically a wimpy home. <laughs> you know, you can see it for miles. It goes on for miles over the hills and everything. But so does the M6. You know what I mean? You see that for miles. That's a and you fact. go, great, and that does a job. You can drive on that. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yo. Got bears in here. Mm -hmm. What's this all about, though? <laughs> it's almost like they know that the wall isn't that good. <laughs> so what else can we give them? Oh, we'll charge them oh, like seven fire. quid to get in to see an old wall. Yeah, it's not an old wall. It's from the 1980s. 
Fuck. I've got a mate who's got some like bears. Stick them down at the bottom. There you are. Look at him stood up. Evolution. <laughs> Drama's getting yeah. involved, chucking it food, because he's, he's not into apple, is he? I've seen what he likes eating. If that was some sort of squid with a tumour on its head, yeah. he'd be tucking into it. <laughs> he's not into fruit. Yes! He's a savage. That is wild, bro. He's savage. Oh, my God. Dead, bro. Another show that might not make it in today's world, you know? Jesus Christ. To be honest, I fancy getting in there and getting a mouthful. It's the first normal food <laughs> hey, I've seen hey, since I've been here. <laughs> not wrong. You have one new message. Okay. Hello, mate. Steve Merchant here. How you doing? Um, I heard that you went to see the Great Wall of China today. Um, I'm sure you enjoyed it. And actually, Ricky and I want you to see more of it. Uh, in fact, we'd like you to see all of the Great Wall. What? Literally all of it. We want you to travel the entire length <laughs> of the wall. So, enjoy it. See ya. <laughs> yeah, they're doing What's our the Yeah, I'm just, just a bit annoyed today because, you know, I thought I'd seen the Great Wall of China, which, being honest with you, it's, it's not the Great Wall. It's, it's an all right wall. It's the all right wall the of China. The all right wall of China. But, you know, I thought I'd seen it. He's and then mid. Steve calls up with some bright idea saying, oh, I want you to see more of it. In fact, I want you to see all of it. It's just stupid. You have one new message. Oh, come on, mate. Come on, always be in contact. You're not on holiday. Still got other business to attend to. You know the rules. Give us a call. What's at the end? Are you having a laugh? <laughs> yeah. This isn't the Great Wall, is it? You kidding me? I mean, I like the way there's no tourists and that. But then why would they be? This is the original wall, isn't it? Or is it? I, d I don't know, is it just badly done? <laughs> this is pretty shit, isn't it? <laughs> You're meant to be able to see it from the moon, aren't you, the Great Wall? Would you want to? <laughs> Neil Armstrong getting his binoculars out. <laughs> okay, right, have you seen it from up here, Buzz? Jesus. And the fortune teller told me that, you know, I had to get rid of one of my sins on a mountain. So I might as well do it whilst I'm up here. Yeah. That was the one about Carl Grimshaw getting put in his hair. <laughs> but, you know, it's worth doing, isn't it? It means I'm not going to have a heart attack. <laughs> I've been travelling for three days, I? I've walked miles and let's face it, there's only so much time you can look at anything and the only reason I've, I've come to this bit of the wall is because Steve said that there's a little village close by and, you know, he knows someone who's going to sort me some dinner out. Oh no, oh no. Neo? Yeah. Yeah. Are you alright? Yeah. Okay. He's a big lad. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yes, yes, just, please. Just, a, just a little, little bit, little bit of, not, not big. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, <he's laughs> they seem like nice people. I mean, I can tell that just, uh, even though I can't speak their language and stuff, they've got some food for me. It's nice, but it's just a bit awkward if it's something I don't like, in it? Because I can't, you know, you can have, you can use your hands to say certain things, but what can you do if it's something I don't like? Yeah, but if it's shit? I can't sort of make a lie up. What do you do? Throw up? That's disrespectful. What? It's disrespectful. What are you, well, what, are you going to force eat it? Yeah, pretty much. But they're in a village. All they're right, all right. You're, food. you're in a village. You're like, okay, they're like, all right, I'm going to make you food. They come out with a cooked dog. Better be some good dog. <laughs> That's a fact. You eat it? I mean, oh, he just said, I've been traveling for three days. I'm sorry. I'm not eating They're the, they're the Bro, only there's people no in food. that village. If you disrespect them. What are they going to do, eat they'll me? They'll make you food. They could. <laughs> they they're going to cook me and eat me? All right, whatever. Who knows? I try it. You try me? No, dog. Oh, hey, you're. Yo. What the fuck? I'm, I'm never eating dog. Yeah, it's like over here, bro, no, in like America? You, like you said. Aren't like, you allergic? I am. 
Yeah, but regardless, I'm like, be like, "You allergic to me now?" Yeah, in in America, like that's that's not that's eating a dog is like, ugh. we yeah. we were, we sleep with dogs with our dogs here. Like around the world, they don't do that shit. It's not as respectful. If they sleep with what their food, that? they might. What is that? <laughs> right, forget it. Forget it. Maybe it's a rat. It's fucking hell, they're massive toads. <laughs> yeah, it's toads in a carrier bag. Oh, I looked oh, at the wrong shit, time. She murked it. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't really want to look, but when I turned around, it looked like she was having a wrestle with one. <laughs> and I heard like, doof, doof. so I'm guessing the toad wasn't winning. <laughs> and I've been told no, it tastes like me. chicken, so I should just eat it and think, yeah, it's chicken, it's chicken. It's just nice chicken. Yeah, Why did she have to cave its head in out here? Why can't she just do it inside somewhere and then I'd eat it? Tell me after. All right, yeah, I'll... <laughs> I mean, it's, it's hibachi. <laughs> I yeah. they were coming, couldn't they have just got something normal? Why didn't you say to him, no, is it alright if I bring Carl around? Cook him something? Yeah, yeah, of course you can, yeah. What does he like to eat? Does he like toad? Just, surely, I mean, I know you don't know me that well, but you know me enough that I've, I've never said to you, do you know what, I'd love a bit of toad. I've never <laughs> said that to you. You could have just nipped it in the bud there and then gone, ah, oh, he's not a fan of that. He's not, I don't like it. They're waving me over. It doesn't look that bad, the finished product. It's close, it's like a murder scene, look. Toad's, bit of Toad's head there. Oh, look at this. Forget it, I retract. It looked good from an angle. Chicken, chicken. It's just a little chicken, bit. Chicken, I'm not chicken. very good with these. It's better than me. Uh. It just looks like noodles. Oh, yes. Mm, nice. Mm, lots of that. He hit it, hadn't he? Oh. Uh, no, I love it. Love the cockroach. Mm. Oh, just, uh, just, uh, just chewing. <laughs> I'm gonna I think the baby's choking. <laughs> <laughs> Eating toad was weird. Um, I think the baby's choking. I had a little bit of toad. What does the toad taste like? Like a. Uh, Tripping. No, just tripping. This woman was forcing it <laughs> to me. She was saying, no, eat it, eat it. You saw that? Nah. Yo. Yo, this dude is a legend, bro. I can't take it anymore. Just look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Shaking. Oh, oh, not fun. Every time I swallowed it, it was coming back up. It was like it was still alive, and the legs were still <laughs> kicking itself out of my head. <laughs> right, no more. I can't. <laughs> What's he making there? Not a toilet door. I know that one. <laughs> Hello. What, what are you making? What is this? Coughing. Coughing? Oh, shit. Then it's with Is this for someone local? The <clears throat> young one. What? This lady here. It's for this lady? <laughs> she looks pretty healthy. <laughs> it's better to make it now because when you're young, you prepare those things. When you're old, you won't be able to organize this. Doesn't it depress you seeing this every day when you leave your house? Yeah. Not the way it looks. I think it's a nice looking coffin, as coffins go. <laughs> but I don't want to be reminded that I'm going to die. Not every day. I'm not scared of death. I'm not worried about it. Alright. Maybe you can help me sending the coffin. <laughs> I mean, my flat isn't big enough to have something like this hanging around. I haven't got any outside space. So I'd have to have a parking permit for this. So I wouldn't be doing this at home. But there's something good about it, because as you get older, you know, she's in her 60s. It's a nice little project, isn't it? She's got an allotment. This is probably sorted out. She doesn't have to worry about that. The house is probably paid for. And you need something to do to keep you going. If you haven't got any little projects, that's when you die. So, in a way, it's just something that when she goes to bed at night, she's got a little to-do list in her head. Oh, coffee needs to be varnished. Because <laughs> there's not that much health around oh, here, is there? Donkey. To keep your mind busy. 
Yes, he's gone off now. He's having his lunch. That's true. He left me here doing this. <laughs> he's been doing the same spot. What the fuck? Where is he going? Is that the, that's the oh Great Wall? Oh my. All right. The Mid Wall. Stephen here. I uh, just want to leave you a quick message. We've sorted something out for you. Um, one of the great elements of Chinese culture. Very popular, of course, in the UK in the 70s. We've arranged for you to see some Kung Fu, Ooh, my friend. Yeah. Kung That's Fu. Cool. Yeah. Enjoy it. <laughs> Kung Fu? What's he Kung Fu for? Wu Shu Shaolin. Oh! oh. Oh. Is this where the, that Fine. video came from? Which one? The ones where the old guys are punching their balls. Oh shit! No, no those, those are, are monks. monks. Those are monks. Those are oh, monks. yeah, they are. Yeah, I know. Yo, crazy. Yo, that was crazy. Wild. Balls of steel, bro. They're crazy. Balls of bro. steel. How the fuck? I've seen videos of like monks walking up like a mountain or some shit. Walking like, on, like literally just hot coal. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They have challenges like that. It's the and discipline. Yeah, discipline. Yeah, oh, what the I think if you like walk on your bare foot, like your feet develop like uh, calluses. calluses, and you won't like feel <clears throat> yeah. stuff like that. Walking barefoot is healthier, I've heard. Because it, it, it Ma- like because when you when you're wearing socks and shoes, your toes tend to like come. I mean, together. think about like our ancestors did that shit. No, like, yeah, exactly. You know, evolution and shit. But mm-hmm. I I love this uh, this part of the uh, Chinese culture. Yeah, the martial arts and all the like That's they. Right. A lot of shit came out of it. Like, That's where it came from, yeah. Yeah, Bruce Lee and the movie. Like, bro. Discipline. Yeah, I, I fuck with that shit. It's pretty impressive the way everyone's remembered the kit. It was never like this for me at school. <laughs> yep. About 25 minutes was just spent with all the kids trying to find a pair of shorts out of lost property because no one ever remembered <laughs> to bring the kit. So it was more like a Trini and Susanna than a PE lesson. We'd all be sort of going, are these your type? Do you want to wear these? I'll wear them. <laughs> just, it wasn't taken seriously. The PE teacher wasn't a proper PE teacher. He did geography when he wasn't doing PE. Right. Well, that's why we have a load of fat kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leo, how are you? Yeah. Welcome to Shaolin. And where's the origin of Kung Fu coming from? And you were going to see the Kung Fu training. All right. Yeah. This is the metal. All right. And they were going to put another the throat. Even I use my finger, just have a little touch. All right. Yeah, just tell me. You don't have to do that. <laughs> yeah. And you will have a very big shock on yeah, the No the fuck you're not. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, Yo. 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 What? What? Yo. Yo. That shows fire. They're going to take us over. When they do, when they do, what are they? What if are they we releasing? go to war and they invade us, and I see them do, I'm all right. What are they releasing? The pain? I think they're like calming, calming themselves and getting themselves prepared. <laughs> I don't fucking know. You guys play UFC once, and now you think you know this shit, bro? Like, he just broke metal. They're unstoppable. Dome. We can't do anything to them. What the uh, fuck? I know. What stops them. I, play, I played Mortal Kombat story mode. So. <laughs> <I'm pretty. laughs> Yeah, our men wear skirts. All right. Uh, we don't, though. So they, Lau, don't it, 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 it's over. We're not going to. There's like, first of all, there's like two billion more of them that, or one billion more of them. So it's over anyways. I'll see you outside hotel. About sort of half four, quarter to five. Four a.m. Okay. Four a.m. Four a.m. Four in the morning. Tough. Are you having a laugh? <laughs> <laughs> you literally are having a laugh. Are you having a laugh? Having a laugh? <laughs> I can't tell. They're hard to read. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? You know, I've been walking the wall for the last few days, you know, aching all over, and now he wants me to get up at four in the morning to do some Kung Fu. It's nice and relaxing, isn't it? He just went. (laughs) Oh. Oh. (laughs) I. I love fog. Where did he hit it? He hit it there, didn't he? No. Oh, 
All right, I got. I want to know something. Would you rather learn sambo from the Russians in the mountains or kung fu from the Chinese? In what the am mountains? I doing though? Am I competing in the UFC? No, just anything. Just like to be other than that yourself. I think this is cooler. <laughs> it is cool. I was gonna say. I think the the Russian style of like wrestling is probably more effective. Clearly, because it Yo. has like other benefits too. Yeah. This ha- this has a lot to do with like mastering your body and like yeah, yeah, body yeah. control and all that shit. Whereas Russians are like, I I, I you eat you, I eat you. B- brute strength. You yeah. see bear, yeah. I fight bear. I fight bear. <laughs> you know, this is like legit, like the arts. This is more of like an art. Whereas that's yeah, more yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking brute. You know, brute I feel shit. like I kind of want to say the Russian uh, uh, samba just because like I feel like that'd be more useful. Like who's gonna wait for me to get in my kung fu stance while I can like come and rush you and grab you? Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, it's application, but like, yeah, yeah. I, this is cooler, whereas the other one's probably more useful. Yeah. <laughs> He's still trying. No. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that? Oh. oh I thought that, was that, was right. that was Goku. Oh. You are lit. You are the minute. Masters. Oh, he's putting that on. No, I'm joking, was he, when he said he was going to come round at four? He was just having a, having a bit of fun with me. <laughs> nice start to the day, moon's still out. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, I don't know what power I've got. That's the thing. If I start wrestling with him, I don't know how strong I am. I might do some damage. <laughs> By accident. By accident. Because I don't go about punching people and stuff, so I don't know how hard I can hit. I might, I might really hurt him. Say if I'm just a proper mugger. Yeah, I'm walking down right. the street, right? I look at you. I I'm he's going this way. Yes. Yeah, hang on. You stop right, me. Hang on a minute. Yeah, yeah, just get back a bit. So, so I, I'm walking down the street, and mm. I think this fellow looks like he's, he's got a few quid. Mm. And I'd go, I'd go, I'd go. Excuse me, mate. You haven't got the time on you, have you? Listen, give us your money. Oh. Ah, all right. <laughs> give us your money. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, yeah. What, what happened? Yeah, yeah. I know. Oh. Yeah, I got it the first time. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> Quickly! Faster! Come on! Come on! Ah! 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 Maybe this is what that what Iona guy was doing. I know. Yes, there used to be somebody at a school. There, yes. I think there's Yo. a name for it, though. Yes. There's a name for it. It's not. It's weird. That's the name for it. Oh, I have a video. Weird. I think in it was a, Kung Fu, he said, no? In a gym with two bar- dumbbells? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, man. It was so much noise. Because I, I, it, obviously it's not applicable in life, but I forgot what he was doing. It's like coordination or some shit. Like a, like he a, thought he was Conor McGregor. He, that's not what Conor McGregor. He thought he was Bruce Lee. <laughs> yes, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee shit. Since, since I've been here, nothing. has he gone, no, Carl, you know, it's a serious issue. Have you got any health problems? Oh. He's always pushing a little bit more. He loves giving pain out. He's not a Buddhist, is he? He's a lunatic. <laughs> oh, that's hard. Oh, that's that looks hard. Tough. Right. Right. Yeah, what am like I doing? Frog. Seriously, what is going on here? OK, Carl, I'll give you a challenge. What sort of challenge? Ah! Yo! What's the other challenge? I can do that. <laughs> ah! This is glass balloon. I'm going to... Through the needle from this way to get this balloon. You're going to throw a needle through the glass? Yes. Hit the balloon? Yes. Hole in glass? Yes. So you're going to... Hang on a minute. Right. (laughs) One. Two. Yo. What the way? That was dope. Jesus. I'm impressed with that. You want to have a try? You're going to take your eye out. There we go. Quiet, please. Right, please. He's practicing. <laughs> you totally missed. From back oh, home. Yo. Oh. I love how you're just yeah. standing there. Still recording. I'm not cut out for Kung Fu. I know that much. No shit. That shouldn't hurt, should it? Just having a cup of tea.
With all these aches and pains and that, you know, Ricky and Steve have sorted me out with a Chinese massage, which isn't like them, that. The best part. Get the socks off. Watch it be one of them when they're jumping on you and stepping on oh. you. Oh, we're having a they, lot. I mean, come on. Oh, whoa, we're lighting oh. you on fire? Oh my god. <laughs> See that? Is that normal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stay back here. How do they do it? Right, right that's, that's hot now. That's mental. Right, that's hot. That's hot. Fucking <laughs> hell. What is she doing? Okay, what now. is she doing? Okay, I've seen massages okay. on the telly. It's hot, in it? have a fire extinguisher on <laughs> standby when you're having a fucking massage. <laughs> what is this doing? Traditional Chinese massage. But what? Why? Tell me why, though. Why is this traditional Chinese massage? I think it relaxes. No, muscles. it doesn't relax me. So what does it do? What? Why is she setting fire to me? <laughs> what good is it doing me? Don't just stand there saying it's traditional. It's traditional. It's what they do here. It's a delicacy. What is she doing? When have gloves on fire ever been associated with having a massage? <laughs> yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it. She's oh, like, I've walked in there. Ah! I'm you wouldn't do this? By Edward nah, Nelson. this actually looks fire. This does fuck. look fire. <laughs> I think uh, I, would, I would 100% try it. I see what you did there. Yeah, uh, fire as fuck. Yeah, come on. See, somebody understands my genius. Uh, I would actually try it. I've been to a few Chinese massages, but they're very basic over here. You know, deep tissue and shit. That is something else. I've seen acupuncture before where oh, they poke needles. Oh, nah, I've seen like the muscle cup shit. That I've never seen. Just lighting you yeah. on fire shit. I wonder what it does, though. Because, like, obviously. I, I got a little bit of hair <laughs> on my legs. They do that shit. I'm going on fire like that. I'll be honest with you guys right oh, now. Oh, yeah, bro. You know? It's clipped. But I'll still try. I'll probably try. Over here, it'll probably cost like $500. Oh, to right. get set on fire. Right. Ah! I've been greeted by Edward Scissorons. <laughs> right, I felt that. Put it out. Put it out, please. It's not a good sort of combination, that, really. I mean, something done like that with a woman who can't understand me. This leg's fine, Teller. This leg is, is great. <laughs> I just want this one doing, then we can go. Ah, that's hot now. Maybe she's just a, a frustrated magician or something. <laughs> ah, couldn't get a gig doing magic. Ends up doing back rubs and she's come up with an idea with having gloves that yeah. on fire. <laughs> ah, I, I had to scream my head off, didn't I? Because it was... And I'm not messing either for the cameras. Because I don't really do that. Yeah, no shit. It really hurt. <laughs> what was that bleeping sound? Fire alarm. <laughs> well, I've travelled miles, haven't I? And this is the end of it, is it? I thought—I mean, I thought you meant to save the best till last, but what is this? <coughs> Bloody hell! Chorus. Bloody hell! Shan Shan Hagwan. Shan Hagwan. Well, that's where it ends, isn't it? I mean, I haven't got another message from Steve saying, right, get your snorkel out. You still haven't seen it all. <laughs> And this definitely isn't you, is it? They've still got Andy Andy working on it. Sounds of things. Oh, oh yes. yeah. I feel yeah. like a wonder of the world. Just this bit. I liked it up on the hills where nobody was, but you got a fella down there selling hot dogs. They've built a bit of a conservatory on it over there. Bloke flogging photographs. And them lot banging. <laughs> non stop. I don't get it though. How come? I mean, that's this isn't protecting anything, is it? Because if the enemy was coming down there, come across there, buy hot dog, and then they want to get over it. Oh my God, take your shoes and socks off. It's not even that deep there. You can just wander yeah. around it. So what is it protecting? That's true. <laughs> He's low-key a genius. Like, yeah, bro. The enemy wasn't going to walk all the way around yeah. back in the day. Oh, it's my last it. sin that I've got to get rid of. Oh, that's a good time. I thought I was going to have fly yeah. in his face. <laughs> There's an old Chinese proverb by this Mao fella. Oh, Mao. That says, A toad in a well only gets to see some of the sky. And if the toad came up, he'd see more of the world. <laughs> Look, he makes sense. Which, you know, is Make a bit like me in a way. Genius. I've, I've seen more of the world just from doing this. I don't know if it's made me a better person or not. <laughs> what he's saying it is, he's saying, if you get out of the well and see the bigger picture, it's good for you. But I'd say it isn't. 
And the thing is, it's not even worth getting out and seeing more sky here because of all the pollution. Oh, it's back. Oh, nice. And definitely, if you're a toad, I won't get out of any old way because they'll <laughs> grab you and cut your head off and eat you. <laughs> what a first episode. Yes. Damn. The man. It's hilarious. The myth. The legend. What do you think about Carl, man? Uh, have you seen our, our reactions with Carl in the past? Yeah, his humor is hilarious. Okay, so you're familiar it's, with Because it's, it's so... Yeah. He, it's almost like he's not intentionally making jokes. It's not Shalant. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And, and I think that's what... They said that Ricky kind of recognized that yeah. in him. And he just had to, like, center a couple of, a couple of uh, you know, content around him. But... um, Yeah, he's a... He's this... I was I would t- I'll be honest. Before we started the show, I was like, I don't know what what to expect because it's a traveler show, and I'm like, I don't know if I'm really up to watching one of those. I didn't yeah. think it was gonna be that interesting. Yeah. But because think about it, like in this 43 minute episode, it was probably a week for him. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Whereas they just condensed it to this one episode. So. Right. But I, I'm actually enjoying it. Like season one, episode one, fire. I can't. I don't know where he's going next. I wish I could say. I want to see him in the favelas. What Yo. In the favelas. In the in the campos in the fucking ah, Caribbean. So episode two is in India. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, that's cool. So it's probably the eight wonders of the world. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, so like the Taj right. Mahal. See, you're right. You're the right. Eiffel Tower. Right. right. I don't, oh, that's know, I don't know the other ones. Thank God you're smart because we're. <laughs> We need somebody like him here. You know, Jurgen was just not, you know. Anyways. Oh, uh, so he is going to Brazil to see the... The, oh, the, 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 the uh, Jesus statue. Rio yeah, the Jesus statue. Whatever they call it. Yeah, that's know. in Rio. Rio. Yeah, I can't see where season three is here, but... Whatever, we'll Or see. episode three. Um, but, but there's nah, multiple cool. seasons, though. The first season so is probably... The, the Eight, eight Wonders. Because he, he, this was the one... He, the wall was the was the first one. Are that's right? fire. That is fire. That's fire. That's fire. But you know what's crazy <coughs> is, like, at first, like, you know, when we we reacted to clips... Of him, so I'm like, these are clips. You think he's like this the whole time? He's like, he's like he definitely is. This is, my, I, this is a traveler show on one person. Yeah, that's it's what's not crazy. a group. Uh-huh. Nothing, and it's it's off the cuff material. Nothing is planned. Oh, here, go here, go. But they know, they yeah. know his personality. He's a f- he's like a bloke. He's just a funny bloke. Nah, yeah. He was the, he was the perfect pick for it. Definitely. Because yes. even he's not enjoying himself, but he has those one liners that yeah, will come yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're enjoying it. That's yeah. why I this think, leg uh, is fine. This leg is fine. That's why I'm proposing Jurgen. <laughs> For what? Jurgen's not funny. To do that. Oh my goodness. He's gonna Guys, sit in his do, hotel you really, room. do you really want to see? You know what Jurgen's first stop is? The anime store. That's the Japan. Store? Store? It's Japan. The, the first stop. Oh, the brothel. Yeah, a brothel. <sighs> All right, guys. There's the first episode of Idiot Abroad. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Subscribe. Back to Zoom University. Subscribe. Right Subscribe. Back, right back. He sounds the same. Honestly, we'll do one to two episodes a week. Yeah, these are longer. Yeah, they're definitely are, a little longer. These are longer. So we're thinking, what days you guys want to do it? Like, we should set... Uh, one will be on the weekend for sure. Like, yeah, this, this will be released on what? So we'll do one on Saturdays, and then maybe one, one Wednesdays. Yeah, maybe one midweek. Yeah. So Wednesdays, Thursdays, or Tuesdays. One yeah. of the days is going to be one, and the other is on Saturday. Yeah, we're still working on... on yeah. working. got to figure out the schedule. Yeah. 